channel it is nikki here and today i have this makeup look now if i'm honest i didn't know what look i was doing whatsoever i just collated a bunch of affordable makeup that i had that was fairly new things that had been sent to me things that i purchased myself everything that was new fairly new anyway and i wanted to put a look together because i wanted to do an affordable makeup tutorial for you now i would probably say that this makeup inspiration has come from belle jordan because one of the palettes that i've used quite a bit in this tutorial is from Deck of Scarlet's collab with Belle Jordan. She, if you didn't know, she has her own palette out. It's absolutely stunning. It's got these beautiful berry tones in it, but it's also got a highlight, a blush, and then you've also got the lip colors as well. So you have a full face palette, and I've used a lot of the shades here on my eyes and on my face to create this look now if you guys didn't know about deck of scarlet the deck of scarlet is a makeup subscription and you get palettes every two months with them what i love about this company is that they actually i don't know any other company that does this but they actually collaborate with influencers youtubers so people that you would watch on maybe a daily basis they collaborate with them and they help bring them out bring out their own palettes which is absolutely incredible and this month is Belle Jordan but not only have I used this product I've also used BH Cosmetics Makeup Revolution CYO everything that's affordable just to create this look and you know what I love it so if you guys want to see how I achieved this makeup look then just keep on watching okay so I'm just going to start off by firstly moisturizing this face because it's hot, it's sweaty, but my face still feels a little bit tight, so I just need to moisturise it because we want our skin to look beautiful for this tutorial. Now my skin is prepped, I'm going to start off just by using the Makeup Revolution a Fast Base Foundation Stick in the shade F5, just to cover up my brows and also to prime my eyelids. I like to do this before I do my brows, just because it gives me a little bit of shape, and I want quite hefty brows today, so it's just really going to keep them nice and clean. Once your carvation, that's not even a word, once you've carved your eyebrows out, I'm just going to go over with a beauty blender and blend this bad boy out. Now for brows, I'm going to be taking my Freedom Pomade, this is in the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows, this is very very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills and that one seems to be very very expensive, this one's very affordable, so if you want to go for a pomade then I'll try this one out because it is very very similar, so I'm just going to fill in all the gaps and I want quite a big brow today. Now once your eyebrows are on, I'm just going to set underneath my eyebrow house and on my lids with the LA Girl Pro Powder, the HD Powder in Banana Yellow, just to set it in place before we start popping any eyeshadows on. Okay, so a new palette that I'm excited to try, and something that is very, very affordable and very me, is a Revolution Reloaded Palette. So they've got a few of them, they sent me so many. They're very affordable, and this is the basic matte palette. Obviously, it's me all over. It has all your warm tones, it's got brown tones, it's got smoky, it's got day, and it's got everything with kind of like a yellowish, reddish, warmish undertone, which I absolutely love. And this is like my go-to palette. It has been for the last couple of days just because it's so easy, and I love a matte. I love a matte. If you know me, I love matte. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in to this two yellow colours right here, the lighter one and the darker one, and I'm going to pop this just underneath my brow bone just to create a matte a highlight and to get everything started off. Next, going back in to that palette, I'm going to go into this kind of skin tonish colour right here, and I'm going to be using this as my transition. Anything that you want as a transition wants to be like warm, peachy for this kind of look, but you just want it to be very, very, very soft. So I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush. This is my Sigma Tapered E40 brush, and I pop this into the crease. But I'm also going to blow this out outwards towards like a wing and also inwards because I want to create quite a spotlight eye with this look. Then because I love warm tones, I absolutely love this colour. It's so beautiful. It's like an orangey sort of yellow mustardy shade, and I'm going to go back in to this colour with the same brush and I'm just going to pop this over just to warm that transition up a little bit. Now I want to start building up a depth because I want this to be like edgy, sultry, smoky, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to go in to this reddish tone right here but it's not too dark straight away. And I'm going to take this on my MAC 221 brush and then I'm just going to pop this into the crease again, tapering that towards the inner corner and the outer but just kind of placing this a little bit lower in the crease now. 
Now that my warm up colours are down and all my transitions are down, it's nice and smoky. I want to start building with my darker colours because I am taking a little bit of inspo from Belle Jordan herself and she is so alternative, very edgy, not afraid of dark colours, not afraid of black, not afraid of afraid of colour. I want to kind of go with them vibes but I still want to make it very me. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into these two colours right here in that Revolution Basic Matte Palette. One has a really nice purple mauve-ish undertone and the other one is a brown. And I'm going to take that on a BH Cosmetics number 7 brush and I'm going to start building up the depth now in the inner corner and the outer corner and then connecting it in my crease to almost make like a spotlight eye. Now a tip that I have for my girls with brown eyes is that if you use anything with a purple undertone, I'm actually gonna put something a little bit more berry in the crease because I really want my brown eyes to pop. But anything with a purple will really make your brown eyes sparkle. It really will. Purple, I guess, isn't your everyday color that you wanna go to. But something like even this tone right here, which comes across a brown, but it has a maroonish kind of purple undertone to it, will still help just bring your eyes out a little bit. Now, just to add a touch more berry, I'm actually going to go into my Deck of Scarlet collab with Belle Jordan. Congratulations to Belle yet again, because this is amazing. I love the tones in here. I've used a couple of the shades already, and they are stunning. So I'm actually going to go in to this berry shade right here, which is called Crush perfect with a really nice tan skin which i love and then perfect just on a fair skin tone as well I'm just taking a little bit of this on my bh cosmetics brush again and just going over where i've popped the inner corner and the outer corner just to add a little bit of a berry there then i'm just blending out the edges just to kind of clean it up a little bit now I love the hint of berry that's just coming through, but what I want to do is I want to intensify this just a little bit more. So I'm actually going to go in with that darkish brown in the basic matte palette and taking this really, really small brush by MAC. So it's going to give me a bit more precision, but it's also going to add a little bit more intensity with the colour application. And I'm going to pop this in my inner corner and outer corner again just to really really add depth i'm going to add a touch of black as well just to the inner and outer corners to add that depth and then just blend out the edges again now typically i'm not someone who would usually add black in any sort of look because i think black is always too harsh however this one if i'm honest isn't as pigmented so it's not coming up across too dark or it's not kind of overpowering the whole look now sometimes what i like to do is i like to stop when i don't know what i'm going to do next and then i like to go on to the face and i kind of jump from one area to the other what i'm going to do just to finish off the eyes for now is i'm going to go back into my deck of scarlet palette and then i'm going to go into this beautiful highlighter color called shh and i love the name of it it's stunning it's got really nice gold reflex in it and i'm just going to pop this on my brow bone guys this highlighter is literally it's so pretty it's really up my street because it's got a gold warmth to it and i like that but it's not got flecks of glitter which i like it's just kind of like a sheen I'm actually just going to go quickly back into that basic matte palette and then take this dark brown, mix it with the cooler brown and I'm going to give myself a really nice smoked liner effect. I don't know if I'm going to wing it out so much right now but I'm just going to give myself a little bit of a smoke there. Because I kind of don't know where I'm going with this eye look just yet, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe off the excess and we're going to begin on the face. Starting off with foundation now, I'm going to be using the Ordinary Serum Foundation in the shade 2.1Y just in the centre of the face and then I'm going to be using a little bit of the foundation in 3.1Y around the outskirts of the face and just using a damp beauty blender to blend this all over. Okay so once that's nicely all sort of mixed, I kind of just mix the 3.1Y with a lighter one in the end but it's such a nice tone. I love the serum foundations by The Ordinary. Not only are they so inexpensive, I think they're like £5 but they go really nicely with a tan skin so if you are a darker skin tone they're beautiful, they've got like beautiful shades, they've got loads of different undertones which is really nice but they're, they're really watery like the MAC face and body but for half the price and they've got really good coverage. 
Moving on to concealer. My concealer of choice is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in the shade Tan Bronze. I do love the colour of this. It's a perfect, perfect colour. And it matches my skin tone really nicely. So I'm just going to pop this a little bit around my mouth area and underneath my eyes. And then blend that out using a damp beauty blender again. Now for highlighting the skin, my drugstore favourite is again the Revolution F5 Fast Base Foundation Stick. It's creamy enough. So it's going to take well to the powder that we're going to put on top and bake with. But it's just a really nice colour and it's got really good coverage to it as well. So I'm just going to pop this on all the high points of the skin and underneath my eyes and then blend that out using a damp beauty blender. Now I very much do need to bronze up the skin and for this, my drugstore favourite is the Revolution Pro HD Camouflage Conceal Palette. You guys have probably seen this a million times. I do like this palette. It's got beautiful... Um, warm undertones of bronzes so I'm just going to bronze up the skin using these two shades right here just to create a little bit of warmth and dimension and life back in my face. Now something that I have been doing a lot recently and I do want to do an in-depth video on it is actually baking. Baking has helped me a lot with my under eye creasing, it's helped with it all looking flawless and it just kind of sets it especially because sometimes I do wear glasses and I don't get the line there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake my under eyes before I smoke out my lower lash line and finish off my eyes as well. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Powder in the shade Banana. I'm just going to take my sponge and dip it into there. And then, uh, then just break, bake underneath my eyes. I'm going to bake my T-zone, my centre of nose and just my jawline just to chisel that up a little bit as well. Okay, so just whilst my bake is kind of cooking, I'm going to go back into my basic matte palette by Revolution and go into this yellow yellow mustardy colour just with my fluffy brush and just smoke out my lower lash line with this. Then going back into my tapered brush, I'm going into this purple and dark brown. I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line as well. And then just for that added bit of colour on my lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of Cherish, which is the berry colour again, and take it really, really, really tight to my lower lash line just for that hint of colour. I personally think this way of incorporating colour into your eye makeup is amazing because if you're someone like me that doesn't like too much colour like if I'm going to go loud I'm going to go all out loud but if you want to incorporate a little bit of colour into your daily routine or into your smoky eyes then adding just a little bit of the pop underneath includes the colour. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of Ardell's black gel liner in my waterline just to further smoke everything out and then I'm just going to attempt to kind of smudge that black liner a little bit on my lower lash line. Now just taking a little bit more of that banana powder in the lid, I'm just going to grasp a little bit on my fluffy brush and brush away all of this bake that's more or less kind of sunk in to my foundation now. Now using my BH Cosmetics Contour Palette, I'm just going to use these powders, a mixture of the colours, just to set that cream, bronzer or contour that we put in place earlier and then just to bring that down onto my nose a little bit as well, just to bring everything together. So I don't typically contour my nose but I feel like it looks nice. When your eyes are smoky, I feel like you can get away with it and you can bring it inwards. Next I'm feeling a little bit of blush, so going back into that Deck of Scarlet palette, she's got a beautiful blusher in here, very much me, if I'm not orange I'm kind of like this mauvey sort of tone, so I'm going to take a little bit of this blusher and just pop it on the apples of my cheeks. I must say one thing that I do like about Deck of Scarlet is not only are they obviously working with YouTubers and vloggers and influencers which I think is absolutely beautiful and I don't know anyone else that does that. But they also do a face palette and then all of these colours in the face palette are very cohesive. So I feel like the blusher goes very nicely with the berry. It's that pink tone. Obviously an orange tone in my eyes wouldn't go so much. So you want something a little bit more mauvey and the highlight goes beautiful with it. This colour right here is stunning. So I like that about having a face palette and then obviously you have the lip colours as well which are a little bit more berry and a little bit more pink which also go with the whole look so this is a whole look in itself. Now going back in to that highlighter colour called Shh by Deck of Scarlet and the collaboration with Belle Jordan. I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and just apply that on the high points of the skin and the face. Honestly I didn't know this highlighter was going to be so banging that I think I put a bit too much so I'm just trying to tone it down a little bit 
I'm sorry if this seems like I'm all over the place doing eyes, doing skin. This is legit how I do my makeup when I'm just doing it sitting at home. So I'm honestly just getting ready with you guys. Because I like to balance out other things on my face to see what I need more of, what I need less of. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. And I hope it works in my favour. I'm going to go into Belle Jordan's palette. And I'm going to take Supernova here because I've been eyeing this baby up. And it looks absolutely stunning. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to spritz it with a little bit. Spritz my brush with a little bit of Revolution's Hyaluronic Fix. And then dip into that and pop this colour into my inner corners. Because I really want that pop of colour. Let me just quickly use this Ardell Lash Booster Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Just to add a little bit of depth to my lower lash line before I start adding mascara and fake lashes. And then the Deck of Scarlet's monthly subscription also came with the Deck of Scarlet mascara, which is their first ever mascara, so I'm excited to try it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara to my top lashes before I add any fake lashes. Now for lashes, I'm gonna go in with my Ride or Die. These are the Boosh lashes. I believe that their website is under construction at the moment. I'm not too sure because I need to get my hands on some other ones. These are my favorite. They're the Adores, but you can tell by the packaging that I've worn these so many times and they continue to do me well, serve me well. So I'm going to go in with these little babies and apply them on. Now I'm just going to add, now that my lashes are on, I'm just going to add some of that same mascara on to my bottom lashes as well. For lips, let me get, for lips I'll be going in with NYX Lip Suede, I believe it is. The lip liner in Sandstorm, you can see by how small this teeny weeny lip liner pencil is that I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. And then I quite like that, I quite like that mauvey tone with the eyes, I think it goes quite nicely, it's a little bit cool toned, but just to add a little bit of vibrancy in the inner corner, I'm going to add NYX Lingerie in Dusk to Dawn. And then to finish everything off, I'm just going to go in with the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix, just to get rid of any of that powderiness, because we didn't spray it after we baked. And then one last thing that I do want to just suggest to you guys that you might want to do, I've been doing this so much and I've rinsed this bottle so bad, I need to get another one. This is the CYO Bronzing Shimmer Oil. I I love it. I put it on my chest, I put it on my legs. It's kind of, it's very oily, but it's got this really nice kind of tan look to it. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on my chest area so you guys can see that. This also smells so nice and it just, it smells like summer and holidays, which is so nice. And that, guys, is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look. I would say that my favourite bit of that about this makeup look, which is a little bit different for me, is the pop of colour in the inner corners. I'm going to start doing this a little bit more. I love the purple in the inner corners. Let me know down below what you think. That colour was the Supernova colour from the Deco Scarlet palette. And if you want to get your hands on this palette, I have 30% off it. I will leave the code down below. The code is lilac, but I'll leave all the information down below nonetheless. Leave me all your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this, this link, this look. And if you want to see more affordable drugstore, just affordable makeup tutorials, because I think I get a little bit stuck in a rut where I'm using the same products quite a lot because I like the products but I think it's better for me to try out different ones to show you guys because all of these products I love like I love the base on this as well so let me know that down below give this video a thumbs up follow me on my social handles which will also be down below and I love you guys so very much I will see you in my next video Mwah. <laughs>